right guys so today's video is going to be different from the normal we are going to be talking about the handbags that social media made me buy i do not believe that there will be a day where i will actually be making this kind of video because at the beginning of my journey i am you know i'm this old soul luxury handbag lover who doesn't do trends you know i personally didn't like to do trends i would only you know invest in handbags that would um remain classic no matter what i would invest in handbags that would stand the test of time the handbags that would you know retain its its value you know those are the bags that i you know started investing in when i got started with collecting handbags but then as time went by i started to you know see some bags on social media that caught my eyes and i have added them to my collection so i'm going to be sharing those bags with you today and i'll be telling you my regrets overall do not get me wrong there is nothing wrong with trendy if you see it if you like it go ahead feel free and buy do not get me wrong i'm just saying that if you are my kind of person or if you are somebody who is just interested in knowing why i started to have this trendy bags to my collection um here is the video i just wanted to like give you a little bit of explanation into like what exactly is going on right now you know i don't know if you've noticed but you know there is this superficial concept from social media that the way of life now is luxury and um i i also see this luxury brand you know being influenced by social media itself because now it looks like to me most of these brands are beginning to lose their creativity. They are beginning to just follow the trend. You see them come out with the same style, with the same, you know, it's just like on and on and on. And we are all, you know, walking through that path. Whatever pandemic did to all of us, it did it and it did it real good. I am, you know, one of the people that are falling for, you know, the, the social media trends, you know, and I have picked up a couple of bags and I wanted to share with you guys. So yeah, before I get started, I'd like to say a very big thank you to my subscribers. Thank you so much guys for staying with me. I do appreciate you a lot. Thank you for your love and thank you for your support. Without you, there is no me here on YouTube. I am glad for the 1000 plus of you guys that actually actually have been following me subscribe to my channel and showing me the support i do appreciate you and i am grateful if you are new here thank you so much for clicking my beautiful face my name is bookie i make videos about luxury handbags about solid gold jewelry in fact if you do not know i also own a solid gold jewelry store my link the link to my store is going to be below in the description section so feel free to shop away on my site if you see anything that you like so hit the subscribe button below to join us and you're gonna have a lot of fun around here and guys if you haven't already do not forget to hit the notification bell by the subscribe button below so you can be notified each time when I upload a new video for you here on YouTube so without dragging this part of this video for too long let's just jump right into the video so the bag number one that social media made me buy is this one right here and this is the coach pillow tabby bag yes so this bag actually caught my eyes social media and it took me a while before i got it and the reason is because it was so fast like when it came out when they dropped this bag people a lot of people had it you know and i was like oh my god what's going on however when it kind of like started to die down a little bit then i just said okay you know what you know compared to the other bags in my collection it's in a good price point it's something that i could have and try you know so i had it and i tried it and i liked it actually i actually loved it you know for what it is i think it, it's such a nice breakthrough for coach because coach is known for you know their classic styles their matured styles you know for once they kind of like created this style that would cater to like even the younger generation and that that was how this bag actually broke the internet you know it kind of like went pra pa 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 and um, boom you know so people are still wearing this bag but if you notice other styles are beginning to like roll over it at some point we might not even see it again just FYI I mean you would see someone like me wear it because I bought it with my money and funny enough if I get like extremely tired of it I might sell it off on Poshmark or something but note that these kind of bags do not um, hold their value like if you want to resell this bag I can bet it with you that you might only get like 40% of your money back and um, yeah, if you are lucky, maybe 50, you know, so that's, you know, another thing you should um, take note of. Um, I think I'm supposed to actually let you guys know if I regret it or not, but um, I don't want to use the word regret. Like I said, it was in a, it's, it's in a price point that I could gamble with and I went ahead and I did it, you know, and it's still serving the purpose. I still don't have any bag in this shade in my collection. This is one of the bags that social media made me buy. Do I regret it? And the answer is no. All right, so the bag number two that social media made me buy 
are actually there are two bags uh this bags right here so these are my jacquemus bags this one is the le grand um chiquito and this one is the le chiquito moyen so for the longest time i did not even know that there was a brand called jacquemus i mean won't you won't you just assume that i'm supposed to know all the brands out there but the answer is no i don't jacquemus is a luxury um brand that actually creates unique styles unique pieces if you see their sunglasses are unique they are ready to wear unique i mean they love to do unique pieces you know which i love i just hope that they don't lose their creativity at some point because again social media is driving everybody including these brands themselves so yeah these two bags are bags that social media made me buy do i have any regrets the answer is yes and what is the regret that i have the regret number one is i should have only picked one of this style not two because um i mean they are both cute don't get me wrong but i think what i should have done is picked a style in pink and another style in white i only regret picking the same style in different colors that's what i regret and i also know that they are in different sizes but they like they're like 100 alike you know so i should have picked a different style so that i could also you know try out a different style and all that so yeah the hardware is not 100 like the hardware doesn't um stand the test of time you know and Jacquemus is not one of those brands that we have in the US where if anything happens you can take your bag back to the store for them to fix it for you Jacquemus is not one of those brands leather wise the leather is great the leather is quality but the hardware i'm not so sure of so keep in mind that these bags will not stand the test of time they do not retain their value by the time you know even jacquemus themselves by the time they begin to roll out like new and more additional styles this style will be swept under the rug that's pretty standard it's even getting there now people are beginning to use a different style and not this one already already like in what in just a matter of um couple of years right so you can imagine years down the line you would almost not even see the style of bag anymore and by the time you want to decide to maybe resell or something you can might hardly even get anything around 30 percent of your money back you know at the end of the day so yeah just keep that in mind so these are um, um, another two of the bags that social media made me buy so the next bag that social media made me buy is actually this one right here and this is the um, Alexander Wang um, rhinestone bag this bag I actually just had it to my collection recently and um, do I regret buying it the answer is no and the reason is because I don't have anything like this in my collection period that's it you know so and that's actually one of the reasons why I was drawn so much to it I saw it a lot on social media and I would see people holding this very tiny cute piece that would you know shine through their hands and I'm like oh this is nice you know let me let me give it a shot you know and the price point again trust me I'm not my trend as brain no as in if I'm following trend trust me I'm still kind of like applying my brain in the process because you know it's, it's, it, I mean it doesn't make sense to me to me it doesn't make sense for me to spend like as much as 3k 4k even 5k some people go as far as buying trendy chanel bags you know and all that it's not gonna be me like that's never gonna be me anything above 1k you might not even see me there at all you know these are bags that are well under 1000 us dollars hello so yeah this is another bag that social media made me buy well under 1000 us dollars do i regret it the answer is no and the reason why i don't regret it is mostly because I don't have to regret it and also because I actually put thought into you know buying this bag so I you know don't have anything like this in my collection it's a cute little piece I actually don't even have any silver bag in my collection this one is not only silver and black it also has rhinestones all over it and since I've had it the rhinestone I've you know kept on you know nothing is missing everything looks cute and perfect and nice I love this bag a lot I mean I like it I don't love it like love 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 but I like it it's a nice addition to my collection if you don't have it I recommended you guys to buy right so when it comes to my recommendation about all these bags that I'm sharing with you today my recommendation has not changed I'm just sharing this with you guys so you can actually use that as well as a fractal when you are planning to pick on any of this handbags when you are ready so the next bag that social media made me buy you're not gonna believe this one 
you are not going to believe this one so the next bag that social media made me buy is this one right here and this is the Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch in the size 26 this bag has been discontinued yes I get it and in this case now it's it got trendy like super duper trendy and I was like I wouldn't I mean this is not a bag right I it's it's a purse I didn't see why I would need it but then people started wearing it as a clutch and it kind of like made sense to me like on some outfit so I went ahead and I bought it so long story short this is one of the bags that social media made me buy but fortunately enough it's not one of the bags that I regret buying because it, the value is actually increasing I have this bag is like in excellent condition I have had this bag for like years now you know like since 2018 I believe and I am able to actually get more than the money that I paid for it. It was a trendy bag that social media made me buy, but it doesn't fall into the category of the other ones because this one has actually been standing the test of time. You know, it's still like as cute as ever. Like when you wear your Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch, you still get the same, you still have the same feeling that you had even when it was in trend, number one. Number two, it's holding its value, which means I am able to get even more more than the money that I paid for it so no regrets at all but this is one of the bags that social media made me buy all right so the last bag on my list that social media made me buy is this one right here and this is the tote bag by Mac Jacobs this one I just had it to my collection like what I got it like I think three weeks ago yeah about three weeks ago I just had it to my collection and I can tell you that this one hundred percent social media made me buy this one was actually I got influenced on TikTok actually I started to see it a lot and I just started to fall into the idea that it's like extremely practical which 100% I agree with like this bag is a practical bag it's so practical that at the end of the day I think I'm, I will be getting it in a bigger size so that way I can use that for you know if I want to carry like a lot of things you know if I want to go on a picnic go to the beach or even go to church with my kids and I'm trying to just grab like extra snacks for them it's a, cra it's a, it's a very 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 practical casual bag in terms of what it's actually meant to do it does that 100% it is super cute it's super good I have it in the leather they come in like other material this is the leather one and the leather feels really good and the bag is cute I just love that you know large you know the tote bag that it has in front of it it serves a nice purpose to me so yeah this bag is one of the ones that social media made me buy in terms of standing the test of time um, no I don't see it as a bag that will stand the test of time and I of course obviously I mean it's not a bag that would hold its value you know by the time I have used it like a couple of times I think you you will probably even get your cost per wear maybe ish maybe you know or not but my point is it's not a bag that has that will eventually have a resale value now it still has its tag on maybe if I sell it right now I can get like exactly the amount that I paid but by the time I start to use it and own it for a long time I don't think it's one of those bags that will um, hold its resale value it's actually not let me not say I don't think this is not one of the bags that will hold its resale value it wasn't made for that purpose however it's one of the bags that social media made me buy do i regret it the answer is no because trust me believe me if you don't own one i think you should you know i think you know if you are somebody who carries a lot of things if you are much more than a little puss lady if you are someone that you know has things to carry at some point maybe you I mean, maybe you're someone that goes to work still, or maybe as someone that, you know, you can actually use it for your gym bag, you can use it for your work bag. It's a tote bag that can be used for multiple purpose. That's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, this bag would serve that purpose for you if you don't have any tote bag in your collection just yet. It comes in different colors as well. I intentionally went with a bright one because we are almost in summer, but the next one that I'll be buying for everyday use would definitely be in a darker color, in, in a gray or a black, or, you know, when the time comes, I'll, I'll let you guys know so yeah this is the last bag that social media media made me buy and, and right now we are at the end of today's video I hope you have enjoyed it I hope you have learned a thing or two from this video and um, yeah again let me just reiterate I do not necessarily mean that you shouldn't buy these bags if you like them if you've been looking at them I recommended them and I still do because there are other things that we should look at which means these bags yes they are being sold to us by social media but yeah 
I mean, the ones that I have picked so far are the ones that are actually good. So I have picked the useful ones and that's the reason why I'm, that is even one of the more reasons why I'm actually sharing them with you now that they might be trendy, but they are actually useful. They are cool, they are good. Don't expect too much of them. And that's the reason why we are trying not to go anything above 1,000 US dollars when it comes to these bags. We're trying to stay below 1,000 US dollars. So at the end of the day, if we are disappointed, we are like, okay, you know, we are not, I mean, we are still good, right? But we are, we are still cool, we are still good. So yeah that's all about today's video thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or comments or concerns or anything any contrary opinion about any of the things that i've discussed with you guys here today do not hesitate to leave them for me in the comment section below and i'll be more than happy for us to have a conversation about them thank you so much for watching before we see you again i hope you remain blessed and i wish you peace